Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we had a welcoming party with our friends. Yusuke will be crashing with us. Let's hear his thoughts. Did something happen? <laughs> well... And back to the Velvet Room. Wonder what Igor wants with me. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Don't be so hostile, Carolyn. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society, and are standing up against such fates. God, you know. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right, I go all the way for All right. Have more persona slots. It's old. You're Sai San's younger sister, correct? My name is Sai, okay. May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh. You saw that show on TV. Yeah. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? Probably because he is. You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. That could be a good or bad thing. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Dude! Looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Probably because you pry into other people's business. Oh, that dude was being needlessly harsh. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. 
I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Right. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? I've been wondering that myself. My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. He gave him the Sayori. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Yusuke seems like an upstanding guy. Hey! Where's Yusuke? You up? Don't sell it. <sighs> huh. Hey. Look into it. Hmm. That's a horrible idea. a bit.
You know, I can do that later. Let's go to the clinic. Let's do that clinical trial. Please head to the exam room. Okay. This woman's bright. Man, piss off. I know my rights. Okay, my bond grew deeper with her. All right. <laughs> Only kidding. Increase my guts a little bit. All right. Take care. That was fun, and now it's the evening. That's how I spent my day, uh, medical testing. You're back. You think so? Hide out tomorrow. I need to be staunch before I do that. Sure. Make sure you close up. Read a fashion magazine. Maybe that'll up my charm or something. Oh, it's a hangout spot. Be a good place to take on. Oh. Harajuku. All right. <sighs> I was expecting charm, but you know what? I'll take information. Excuse me. Okay, I am all kinds of really stiff. <sighs> Hi. A catchy. Yeah, 
doing? I'm tired. Oh? Akechi's gonna be important for the story. He's either gonna be a party member or he's going to be important. Maybe it's both. I don't know. Ah, uh, these bags. days. So I handed a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me don't tell me young people these days don't know what Hirabuni Bumi Ido is. Okay. Seraph. Yes, sir. You know it, right? Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan, but who issues the coins? I think that would also be the Bank of Japan. <laughs> huh. I didn't know that. That's why socialism is bad. It's called capital inflation. It's bad. I didn't know that. <sighs> Kawakami, what you need? Listen. Student, who is this? Okay, third floor next to the library. Hey. I need to return that book anyway. I'll go to the library in a bit. Ah, earlier than expected. Have a seat. What do you want? I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Matarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. You so bitch. you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. I believe you're a bitch who needs to mind her own business. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? I have the right to remain silent. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Go ahead. Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. 
Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. You know, I could smash your phone and tell you to piss off. Or I could just... Seriously. Oh. Hmm? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Ooh. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. You're totally gonna be a party member, I just know it. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. What's the alternative? <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. Not like we have much of a choice in the matter. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Although I guarantee this girl's gonna be a party member, and I'm okay with that. I think she's the girl with the fedora in the... Menu picture. Yes. Got a picture? It's I best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? If everyone... It's really our only option. Alright. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? No telling. I need to get my guts up to Dauntless so I can talk to that guy about guns. I'm so fucking pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering that, considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president wants us to change. Doesn't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks. I, I do wonder who it is. I'm curious myself. Without the... <laughs> 
I love the coffee house music. It's so nice. I'm getting my soundtrack tomorrow on the 21st. I ordered it last week and it was coming from Japan. It will take one month to get here. A few days later, you will get it by Friday. God damn, Amazon, you're amazing. She's a shrewd one. We best be prepared for anything. Tuesday. Hey! Oh, it's that reporter woman. What about your job? Nope. Oh, yeah. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Okay, that sounds like a good run. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. Or they get a bullet in their brain. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. I bet it's to buy a Kawa. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Something witty. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. Shibuya? The underground mall? You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. And if I s steal your phone and throw it off the roof, what are you gonna do then? I hope you don't let me down. You know, I could easily just steal your phone and throw it off the roof, right? She really had the upper hand in that exchange. Not really! I could have stolen her phone and thrown it off the roof. Then she has no evidence. Then she's just a crazy person. Yeah, I might get in trouble for destruction of property, but I'll buy her a new frickin' phone. I got 80,000 yen. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on. We should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Yes. You don't believe me? You seem upset. I'm not! Why would Makoto... 
Yeah, that's seven hundred and eighteen dollars and eighty-eight cents. That's enough to buy Bringing a new phone. Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Ooh. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for, Right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? This is our chance. Let's prove some justice. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford yeah. to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. What's up? Okay, sure, buddy. Indeed. <sighs> Horrible. What are you talking about? Please listen. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet, I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I'm trapped in what the art world calls a slump. To tell the truth, you are aware that I attend Kosei on an art scholarship. It's just Coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. If I were to lose my scholarship, I'd likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal was what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to as attain the lustrous, lustrous, lustrous allure, yeah, the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now holding on to my scholarship, keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur on my brush to move, and yet resulting work, work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to what, whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. Don't be so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away. But, I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end in 
here would even be more sin be even more sinful. Hmm. I wish to create work I can genuinely be proud of. Please look over there at Sayor Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. <sighs> Why is that, you ask? Is it surely because the paints behind the work differs? Because the soul differs? But if estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring such beauty? I must understand. I am perfectly frank, though. I am unsure how to do so. Would you be able to prove me, provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you all, believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I need to sit closer to my microphone, because you're not going to be able to hear what I'm saying. I'd be glad to help you, buddy. I'm in your debt. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to be, yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep into an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking about this manner again. I walked you scared to the station. Rain, huh? I hate the rain. It always brings me down. I don't mind a light rain when it's when it's late and you're trying to sleep. Linda, Lita, Lita, of class who's guilty. You mean Ildikun from our class? Where have you been? Been searching all along. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to her. Hey. Oh, there's customers here. It's about helping people. Let's do this one. Make sure you close up. Good or evil, the threat of whatever. What are your thoughts? Hey, hey. Hopefully it lets me stop and wait. God damn it. Hey. Hmm? What are your thoughts? Oh. <laughs> I gained some knowledge for that. Pretty terrible. Yeah, okay. Morning. Class, come on. That L Ilda guy is here. Good luck.
I don't know if that's an I or an L. It's hard to tell. Hey! What's going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity has, was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have an answer to that. Um. Doing the best I can. <laughs> you need to get a spine, girl. Tragic. It's June. That's not really, oh, well. It's not the rainy season where I live. I don't know about the weather patterns of Tokyo. No, it's an imagination. Give it a try. What would happen if you keep washing your hair with water that's contain contaminated with metal? And let it'll change color. You won't get a permit. I don't think it'll start shining. Colloidal silver. <laughs> That's it. Huh. I only knew that because nice of going. colloidal silver. You drink colloidal silver, it'll change your skin pigment and hair color. And it doesn't actually do anything to benefit your body. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything to harm it, but it does make you look like a smurf. All right. I am thinking of witty comments. After school, let's talk to this guy. Hey. Hmm? Sorry for asking you so suddenly. at all. Is she talking about me? Um... <sighs> don't You don't mind, do you? Oh god, she's got him wrapped around her little finger. Huh? Nishiyama. Uh, hey! That's... That's incredible. Look for Nishiyama. Supposedly around Shibuya. What's up, Mishima? Um. You know anything about a Nishiyama? Sorry. Oh. You know anything about Nishiyama? Library! I need to go up there and return the books anyway. That's the broadcast room.
What's this about a job? I want to help him out. Give me the details. Central Street. What is this job? Anything else? Mm, A man on Central Street. Okay. Please return the frickin' book. Need to go to Central Street. I can't fast travel right now? That's weird. Oh, Makoto. What's wrong? Well, It's going well, actually. Actually... Yeah, I've got a lead. Yeah, it's June. Apparently it rains a lot in June. Oh, I gotta talk to people. I've got a damn lead. Let's try that Makoto girl. Those people don't exist, apparently. Let's check on the second floor. There's a, I think that's just Mishima. Prostitution? Still in the clock. Do I need? I think that's a hint. Go back in here and check on them. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Hey. <sighs> Give it up, Ilda. Sir. We have proof. Your buddy told us everything. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? Not one that's connected to the mob. What are you getting at? You're a drug peddler. How do you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? 
Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Drugs. They need to blend in. Finish that step tomorrow. Now I'm gonna be going back to LeBlanc's and I'll end the episode. Has that been going for almost an hour? <sighs> mm-hmm. Just a reminder. You got this, buddy. Like I said, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I go peddle drugs. I'm failing at being a good boy, aren't I? <laughs>